Good. Hi, I'm Sensei Joe from Joe's Dojoville Park. Uh, I'm here going over some terminology and some belt test review. We got a lot of students that aren't able to do a lot of good karate right now because they're stuck at home and they don't, they can't think through the little nitpicky things that they want to get to practice. Um, first thing I'd say is make sure you do your warm ups first, just so you have less chance of injuring yourself. I'll also say that this stuff is mentally very important to focus on all the stuff so you could get it easy. You could get it quick with it. You could go with it, but I'm not going to talk about that too much. I'm just going to go right into the orange belt stuff. So starting off. Boom. There's my cheat sheet in case I forget something. Go ahead and go into a regular old hachidachi. So there's our normal, nice hachidachi. Your knees should be bent just a little bit. Your arms should be in front of you. You should be able to see your fists. They should be in fists. You can do it this way. You can do it this way. Some reason I like doing it this way, so most of my students do too. The next one you're going to want to do is a zenkusadachi. So when you do a good zenkusadachi, you're going to have about one shoulder width wide and about two shoulder widths long. Feet facing mostly forward. I know there's a lot of bad ankles out there, so if you have to cheat out that back ankle a little bit, do it. Whatever you can to make it that much better. You should have this knee bent so far as you can't really see your toes. You should have your back straight. When you're doing your chambers, we like to have them really high and tight in our Shure Ru style. So if I'm here, my chambers can be here. You can see that everybody has to fight for better form. Now, from this position, I'm going to show you our punches. So Seikenzuki. You're going to be twisting out, boom. You want to be loose until the end, and then you want to freeze tight, <clears throat> lock it in. You also want to be alternating your fists so that one's going forward, one's going backward. So when you're here, it's pushing and pulling. And then you can speed it up. You want to go right into the other one. I like snake butts because they're pretty fast. Long, long run, the breathing is important. Or that's why we like to do snake breaths to start because it's super simple breathing. <sighs> Next one, hand up, Shuto Zuki. So Shuto, you're going to want to have your hand in a way that this blade edge is your main striking point. So if I go here and I have a pinky that's hanging out or I have a little bit off, that can make it so that's the first part that, part that hits and that's going to make it not feel good for you. And your goal is to feel good the whole time that you're fighting and minimize your damage to yourself as you maximize how much damage you do to them. So I have a small curve here. I'm gonna drop down. When I come up, I drop down. I, if you notice, I'm not chambering this all the way. That's just because I want to do it that way. You could also do it here. But I find a lot of times this squeeze becomes more thought of than the attack. You should think about your chamber, but you shouldn't make it the only focus, you should have your drop down to actually be violent and powerful still. Next up is a tattooey, so it's the exact same motion, except you're doing it into a hammer. You're dropping the hammer, as they'd say. So drop down. If you notice, I let myself actually go up and I drop down. Makes it a little bit more powerful. Next up, we're going to go through our blocks. So we got our jodan. I like to practice my cover for my jodan right about here. And I go up and up. You can also go the traditional, which is about here, up, up. If you notice when I'm covering, my goal would be to go arm to elbow. I have a limit of mobility this direction, so I could get there, but then it's so tense it doesn't do as much. So I'll go here, or I'll go here. Next up would be shote. So shote's palm heel. If you notice, I take my hand, I start curling it down, I leave it on that first little dimension here. So if I'm doing blocks, I'm gonna go sideways. My goal is right around here, I'm gonna take a target here, I'm gonna misdirect it off to the side. So I'm here, 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 here. There's your shote, shote uki. Next is ose uki, which is about the same. It's kind of like a push down, and that's still for a center target redirecting it. If you're going for a groin block, you'd have to really, really redirect it because then it'll still hit you. So this, We'll take an arm that's barely touching you or hitting you. It'll misdirect it so it's now hitting you at an angle. Less damage. Next up would be our kicks. So you got our hezagari. That's bringing your knee up. Hezagari. Hezagari. Good. And the hezagari is one of my favorite kicks to start with too because every kick has it. 
You're gonna go here, bam, you get your Heezy Gary, goes right into your May Gary. So I was here, hitting with the ball of my foot. You might not be able to tell because I got these cool karate shoes on, but it actually has a small, let me get a close up on that. Got a small ball of foot, little symbol on the bottom. That's kind of nice because it's just little, bam. And with that, that's a May Gary front kick. Now to change it to a Makin Gary, you're gonna turn your toes down. I like to think about it as you're kicking with the laces, the top part of your foot. The other thing I like about this kick is that you shouldn't be going at super high stretch kick because you're hitting somebody in the groin. There's very little reason to have your toe pricing down if you're going to the chin because there's only this much clearance where you could be sticking your foot to go up. Whereas you can do the ball of the foot to the head that's a lot more easy to always hit something on purpose. Next up, we're going into some of the easy terms. So, term number one, Sensei. Hey, that's me. That's Sensei Dave. We're good sensational people. Sensei means teacher. And in our dojo, we could have more than one senseis in the dojo. Some dojos make it so you can only have one and everybody else is a bunch of senpais or less. Senpai means assistant instructor, but sensei is the teacher. Next up would be dojo. This is Joe's dojo. It's because I own it. It is a school. I basically made it my dojo's name, my school. So I can teach whatever I want here. It could be karate, it could be kickboxing, it could be rhythmic gymnastics if I needed to. But a dojo specifically means school. Next up is fudo, which we do a fudo dachi when we do fudo. So your fudo dachi has a small knee bend, hands at your sides, and it's an attention stance. Very military-like. So you're up and ready, but you still have a little knee bend, so if you stayed in it too long, if anything, you'd crumple down, as opposed to if you had your knees locked, you'd literally just fall straight forward like in a military problem there. Next one would be your gi, which for some reason I'm only wearing the bottom half of my gi. My top half is actually on Bob right now. We won't tell him that he stole my gi, but I want to be actually able to see my arms and my punches. So that's why I did it. I cheated. Then your obi is your belt. Mine looks pretty black, so that's kind of cool. But everybody has to start with one belt. It's usually the white belt. That's why we're here. Next up, hajime, mate, and yame. They're all three best friends. So, hajime is when you start going, mate is when you pause or wait, and then yame is kind of like stop it, end it all. So that's, I actually say I'm two definitions of each one. So mate officially means to begin, but it means start whatever you're doing. Mate means pause, but a lot of times we use it as a wait, like mate, okay, now it's like this. Oh, right, hajime, go. It's like red light, green light, which is one of our best games. And yame is literally just stop, end. Like, we are done with this drill, we're putting away the tools, we're gonna go back to doing something else. Or the sensei, the hiring sensei walks in and we say, Yame, oh, what do you need? It's Pudo, let's get it on. Whatever else we gotta do. So, that's a lot of the terms. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is Ipan Kumite Kata's one and two. So, it's not the last thing, it's one of the last things. So, number one, you're gonna step back, cover up, high block, ah! Kiai with your Megari, Shutozuki, Seikenzuki, Seikenzuki, step back, Geranuki. If you notice too, I'm trying to practice my covers here <clears throat> to get my big strong ones. Back to Hachidachi. Number one, you should do it both directions. So, Joranuki, Megari, Shutozuki, Seikenzuki, Seikenzuki, Geranuki. Hachidachi. Epons are done for strength and form. So you do them accurate and you do them with a lot of power. Number two, you're gonna step back. Jodanuki, ha! Megari, Tatuizuki, Seikenzuki, Seikenzuki, Geranuki, Hachidachi. Ha! Nice and powerful. Now, I have three different divisions in our school. We have Kinder Fu, Action Kids, and teens and adults. They all have a small modification of how much more I expect each level up to do a little bit more. So, I have self-defense form, which I'll go over. That's gonna be for Kinder Fu and Action Kids. Best kata in the book, you go here. The hands are optional, but they look good. 
three deep breaths so you can start thinking about all the things you're about to do. Take a step back. Stop! Stay back! I don't want any trouble! Hus! Now you're gonna block first. Then you're gonna go ahead and do all three different directions. So high, middle, and lowish. Ha! Reset. It's time for the violent part. So punch, punch, elbow, elbow, knee, knee, kick, kick. I didn't do empty when I was over there before. I should have done empty before. Good thing we're doing it now. Good. So now I'm going to do it in Japanese. So if we go back to Hachidachi. We usually bow before and after. So self-defense form. Stop! Stay back! I don't want any trouble! Huh! Chotanuki! Chotanuki! Shotayuki! Shotayuki! Asayuki! Asayuki! Huh! Seikenzuki! Kyakuzuki! Empizuki! Empizuki! He's a Gary! He's a Gary! May Gary! May Gary! Huh! Kyotsuke Rei! Hachidachi! So, that is one of my favorite katas ever that Sensei Steve made up probably about 30 years ago, like all of his cool stuff he's made. I've taken it on to keep going with that kata because it makes a ton of sense to teach people how to get, how to talk their way out of a fight and actually how to do some moves that actually matter. So punches and kicks to the groin and punches to the face, always a good idea if you're in a bad situation to strike the parts that matter. Last but not least, when you go into uh, our advanced students or so action kids and our adults and teens we do our circular system of self-defense that we got from ken newton and his gang if you go with these ones they're all about moving different directions while attacking and defending against one person so a person comes to punch me in the chest sidestep shote shuto also known as muashiyuki grab on seikenzuki i still have them that's my hand shape like this kokozuki tatezuki you can do it both directions, so you go Mwashiyuki, Seikenzuki, oops, I let him go, Kokozuki, Tatezuki, back to ready. Then number two, you're going to go double push down block. I've been V-ing my hands together here so I can grab onto their wrist, there's their fists. You drag down and grab it, Nishkenzuki, making Gary, Empizuki. Step back, hands up. So, Murate Osayuki, Nishkenzuki. Making Gary and Bizuki. Hands up. Hachidachi. Now, for the adults and teens, we skip self defense form and we do this one last kata, which is Taikyo Kuichi, traditional Shuri kata. So, I'm going to take a couple steps back so I don't step on the little notebook. Taikyo Kuichi! I my secret, I better no weapons, I pray never to use this, I have to earn peace. Ray, Hachidachi. If you notice, I stepped the wrong foot when I stepped back in, no big deal. I'm gonna keep on moving. And that rounds out what we were doing right there, so that's the end of our orange bell. And Kyotsuke, Ray. <laughs> 